and soft to the touch. They shouldn't be wilted or smashed, um, and there should be no liquid present underneath. Another thing you should take notice of is the stem. The stem should be nice and spongy-like, um, and it should almost be a little bit of moisture when you squeeze it. It shouldn't be dry and brittle. Um, that's an indication that it's uh, starting to decay, starting to dry out. Again, with the domestics, nice and spongy-like quality. Um, you should also take a look at the cap. The cap is going to have nice uniformity in color. It's going to be firm to the touch. Um, again, nice uniformity color in the white. Here's an example of some mushrooms that have began to decay. These are the buttons. And this is what I was talking about earlier. If you would imagine a stem in here, you begin to see the gills of the mushroom, which indicate that it's decayed and starting to die, um, and as well as an uneven color, really dark brown, just really looks un unappealing. So uh, those are some things you want to keep in mind when you're looking at purchasing your mushrooms. Now as far as storage, um, it really depends on when you're going to use them. If you're going to use them within a day or two, um, again, like the root vegetables, they can be stored in a basket in a, in a dark, uh, in a dark, cool place on your counter. Uh, if it's going to be more than two days, I recommend just loosely covering them in the refrigerator. And I would not hold them for more than three to five days because then they'll start to break down. Uh, that's about it. And I hope this segment on root vegetables and mushrooms helps you out in your next purchase. This one in particular, um, you can notice that it's starting to wilt and wrinkle. Um, the decaying process has already started in this, you want to try to avoid this. And this potato here, our ends are nice and firm, there's no decay. Um, another thing you want to look for is everywhere they have these little spots or eyes. And if they've started to sprout, that's a good indication that um, the toxicity level inside has already uh, started to elevate. Um, and you really want to stay away from those because it's dangerous at that point, um, really get you sick. Carrots, you notice um, they're not very vibrant in, in color, um, but it is a nice orange, it has a nice orange hue to it. Uh, what you want to look for again is that nice firm uh, stem. If it has the greens attached, the greens should be um, nice and crisp and fresh and have good color to them. What you also want to do is you want to notice that they have a nice snap to them. You hear that crispness and you can see that there's juices in there. That's a sign of a nice fresh uh, crisp root vegetable. All these vegetables we just talked about here um, can be stored in a cool, dry place, carrots included. They don't need to be stored in the refrigerator. As a matter of fact, uh, the decaying process is actually sped up when a potato is, and onions are kept in the refrigerator. So these, you just want to find yourself a nice basket or a bowl um, and maybe store them in a dry, dark cupboard or a dry, uh, dark corner in the kitchen. Again, no need for, uh, for refrigeration in this state. Once you break them down, start cutting them up, they, they do require refrigeration. All right, I want to talk about some mushrooms now, or fungus. Uh, we have your two varieties here, your garden variety of domestic or button mushroom, and the mother of all mushrooms, the portobello. This is the big guy. Um, one thing that I want to point out is that all mushrooms have what are called gills. In the domestic mushroom, they're sealed. You, can, you should not be able to see them. If you are, that's an indication um, that it has started to decay and fall apart. Um, but in the portobello, it's a really easy way to tell whether it's ripe or not. Uh, the gills in here are very soft and they're almost hair-like. Um, they should be nice and soft to the touch. They shouldn't be wilted or smashed. Um, and there should be no liquid present underneath. Another thing you should take notice of is the stem. The stem should be nice and spongy-like, um, and it should almost be a little bit of moisture when you squeeze it. It shouldn't be dry and brittle. Um, that's an indication that it's uh, starting to decay, starting to dry out. Again, with the domestics, nice and spongy-like quality. Um, you should also take a look at the cap. The cap is going to have nice uniformity in color. It's going to be firm to the touch. Um, again, nice uniformity color in the white. Here's an example of some mushrooms that have began to decay. These are the buttons. And this is what I was talking about earlier. If you would imagine a stem in here, you begin to see the gills 
of the mushroom, which indicate that it's decayed and starting to die, um, and as well as an uneven color, really dark brown, just really looks un unappealing. So uh, those are some things you want to keep in mind when you're looking at purchasing your mushrooms. Now as far as storage, um, it really depends on when you're going to use them. If you're going to use them within a day or two, um, again, like the root vegetables, they can be stored in a basket, in a, in a dark, uh, in a dark cool place on your counter. Uh, if it's going to be more than two days, I recommend just loosely covering them in the refrigerator, and I would not hold them for more than three to five days because then they'll start to break down. Uh, that's about it, and I hope this segment on root vegetables and mushrooms helps you out in your next purchase.